Welcome to University of Bedfordshire and I'm going to do the presentation on student life. Um, so what to expect at university um, and actually uh, what sort of advice can we give you um, on student life at the university. So I want to start it off about the type of studying that's available at university. So we do have as an option for you to study different things within your chosen course. So there are modules which is different subject areas within your course. Uh, you'll have a number of modules you'll need to complete um, as part of your course. Some are core and some you'll choose from. Um, and they're studied over a few modules each semester. Um, so they'll be split up into two semesters. You'll have a semester one, which usually runs from October to January. And then semester two, which runs from February to May. So it's an opportunity for it to be split up there for you to try and give you an, uh, an even balance on being able to study and get the most out of your course. Now, the different types of learning are split into two. So, well, lectures um, is not what we is what you'll find where a lecturer will stand at the bottom uh, or stand in the front of the classroom, and they'll just present on a big board. Now, there can be, in some cases, up to two hundred of you. In some cases, there can be a lot smaller. This would depend on the amount of people that uh, go on to the unit, um, but also how many people are on your course as well. Uh, so do bear in mind this number may change, but you can expect over 200. Um, so don't be surprised if you see a lot of people in one room. Uh, there is a lot of online and resources and videos for you um, that can help you manage your lectures and view your lectures as well. Um, so you can actually listen to lectures again, find the presentations online um, through your uh, online resource uh, services that the university would offer uh, but also time management is crucial so being able to time manage around when your lecturers are and when you need to be there and how long they are some will be one hour but some will also be two hours so be aware of the fact that you could be in there for a couple of hours a day after that there is also a seminars option so this is an interactive discussion or a practical base depending on the course that you're doing it's an opportunity for you to get more hands-on with the course so, for example, if you are doing a more theoretical course, something similar to criminology, sociology, uh, on those sort of lines, then you'd be looking to an interactive discussion from your lecturer about what you've just learned on that, in that lecture. Um, if you're doing a practical-based course, something similar to engineering, sport, a science-based course, you possibly will be going into those areas, labs, you'll be going into um, uh, sports arenas uh, to do some practical stuff as well. So do be aware of that. In, you'll be in different areas within the university depending on your course you're doing. Uh, with us with the university there is personal learning as well um, so you would need to make time for that. Uh, university is all about independent study uh, so you need to make sure that you make some time outside of your course for your lectures and seminars. Um, now I have to emphasize the independent research uh, university is all about you and it's all about what you study um, so independent research is apparently important but independent study as well so do bear in mind that the course yes is supported by university but it's all independent around you and the work that you do um, as at the end of the year it'll be down to your qualification and your specialist area that you want to work with um, but also making use of all the study areas available to you. So you have, may have learning resource centres or libraries, depending on how they name it. You may have social study areas that you may be accessible to, or the student union. There's different areas in which you can uh, take advantage of, um, which you'll make available to you. Um, so you make use of those areas and to find out what study areas suit you best. Some like a bit more quiet and uh, quiet areas, some require like noisier areas. There's different available areas for you at the university, so please do make use of that and find out where is best for you to work. Uh, with Wi-Fi now being mostly available and widely available, you can pretty much study anywhere you want in the university. Um, so when you usually go from one campus to another, your, your, your Wi-Fi will automatically connect majority of the time, so you shouldn't have to worry about reconnecting and unconnecting from different areas of the university. On top of that, there is a lot of academic support. So what you'll have is a personal tutor, something similar to what you have at school. Um, this is a member of the academic staff on your course. Um, so they will be able to look out for you, look at your academic progress and actually be there to support you. There's an option for you to meet with them on a one-to-one -one basis or you can meet them in groups. This will depend on where, again, you find that you'll be suited for you. Most lecturers will have um, 
what's called office hours um, and these are set hours and days where the university um, or where the lecturer will actually be able to make some time for you to meet with them you can either pre-book the meeting in, in advance or it's a drop-in office so the door will be open to you to drop in when you want to I would say probably book them as you then can guarantee you'll have that time slot available um, but one thing they are really good with if you are struggling with your assignments or you're worried about how the exams are going to work then you can actually find out from them what support is available for you, find out um, how they can help you, what can be put in place, and if something has been put in place, what support is out there for you um, and what the university can do for you in that area. So personal tutors are very good and they're always your first point of call for any queries or issues um, with your course. Um, with university, you've also got the partial support. Um, a lot of the students will move out of university, move away from home for the very first time. Um, so it's very difficult uh, to understand um, where support is available. So these are the number of services available for you um, within different areas, which you can m may take advantage of. Um, most universities will have these, these are the most common ones, but there are more others that may be available for you. So do have a look at what student services are available for you and what support is available for your university. Most universities will also offer healthcare products as well, so healthcare services. Um, so this is where you can actually access a GP. Um, so most universities will have a GP assigned to them. This is an opportunity where you can actually be able to register two GPs. You can register the GP at home as well as the GP at you, your university. Um, this is an opportunity so you don't have to always keep going home to go and see your GP. You can just see one at university. So have a look at, find out where that is. Um, and how you register. Some will make it available on campus registration, some make it, you may have to attend the GP. So again, find out how you register for those. Um, and obviously there's lots of multi-play faith chaplaincy teams, uh, so uh, regardless of what faith you are, there is a lot of support available for you. Um, so by all means, again, have a look at that, find out what support is available for you uh, within multi-chaplaincy teams. Um, on top of all of that, uh, the university also has sport as well. So sport becomes a really massive element. Um, this is Bruno Le Ball, which is our uh, university uh, mascot for our sports teams. Um, and this is where you an opportunity for you to play sports uh, competitively against different universities within your area. Uh, so most of them are managed and run by the students' union. Some are run by the university. So obviously this is an opportunity for you to find out whereabouts they are. Most sports are played in the Wednesday afternoon um, and you'll have all the sports you can think of. Um, you'll be able to play against different universities um, within different areas. So for example, University of Bedfordshire is in the Midlands area, so we play with everyone within the Midlands. So you'll be stretching all the way across to the East Coast, all the way up to the Welsh border um, and going as far, we are further south that you will go. Um, within the area so obviously there's quite a lot of universities and you'll go as far as north of Staffordshire around Yorkshire away as well so lots of different areas where you can play sports if it's a sport that is a one-man sport or an individual sport there is opportunity to play those as well um, and if you are a high academic within your area there's also uh, an opportunity for you to play those um, and you could be registered individually um, so do find out about those find out how to register but most sports are playing weekdays uh, which is your team sports and on the weekends you'll find that your individual sports or less common sports like corf ball uh, we played on weekends because they're generally done over tournaments rather than actually uh, every week um, so there's an opportunity to maybe take on more than one sport um, so obviously do again find out about that find out how you can get involved in sport but also find out about the cost element as well there's some cost to sport as well and finding out what how much that costs if you have to pay for that um, but the Students' Union uh, is more than, as people think, a social and more than just a bar. They are an organisation that supports students. Now, every student who becomes part of university will automatically be a member of the Students' Union. So, And their option is to be able to help you settle in, help you enjoy your university life um, and how you can stay safe and happy. So things they organise as fresh as week or in some universities as fresh as fortnight. Um, so they'll organise welcome activities, they'll organise freshers fair, an opportunity to find out discounts, jobs, um, but also an opportunity to really find out what is available for you locally. Um, and obviously they also organise the, uh, the day and night events as well. So there's more than just night events, there's also day events stuff and stuff going on throughout the day during freshers. So by all means, it's something you would want to be involved in and also a, a good way for you to make some friends, uh, especially most of the time you'll be moving away from home.
They'll organise social events throughout the year. Um, they'll also organise volunteering, so an opportunity for you to get involved in the community, or if your course uh, has some opportunities where you can volunteer as well. Um, so there's an opportunity to register your hours with those, and also RAG, which is stands for Raise and Give. So there is a RAG week every year. Uh, where universities would support one charity and that would be a week where you would raise money. Uh, so obviously a good way for you to get involved in those as well. Um, on top of the sports teams, there are also societies uh, which are either academical, cultural or social. Um, so academical is stuff that are course based. Um, so if you're doing a course that you thought, oh actually do you know what, I didn't want to do but I'm really interested in that area. So if you're doing a sport sports course but actually you're really interested in law there's opportunity part of the law society um, so there's opportunity for you to have a crossover and find some interest um, cultural uh, so anything cultural uh, you can uh, be part of most universities have most of the cultures available if they don't have one available you can create one uh, have a look speak to the student union and find out how you can create a society if it's not available and social uh, societies are the fun ones uh, so these can be absolutely anything um, anything could be a society. Uh, the University of Bedfordshire, we've had stuff like gaming societies, Disney societies, musical theatre societies. These are just a number of stuff that you can find at universities. Uh, so if you've got an interest in any of those, uh, or an interest in any other social activity, have a look, find out, see what there is. Um, I think someone asked us about skydiving. There's lots of different opportunities that you can find. Um, most societies are free. Um, sports teams you generally, say you generally may have to pay for. So find out about how you get involved in those. They also do student newspapers. They can support you with any legal issues, uh, both at university or um, if you have any legal issues at home, including any housing contracts. Um, and also they can help you with accommodation, so help you find out is the landlord being legally uh, right in what they're doing? Are they able to, uh, are they doing, are they putting anything they shouldn't be putting in there? And also any finance as well. So if you're struggling for money, where can you get support? The welfare teams at universities in the student union, both of them are usually available 24 hours a day and they're there to help with any other problems you may have. Uh, student unions are very good to approach um, as they are more part of the social side. They also put other workshops on as well for you how to be safe as well. So, if you, uh, so I do hope you enjoyed the presentation. If you do have any other questions, you can email us at study at beds.ac.uk. So you can ask any questions there. Um, if you need to access or speak to our admissions team, then you can contact us on 0300 330073. Or you can speak to us over live chat um, at www.beds.ac.uk. Um, and also on the website as well, you can also view our open days and see what's available and come and visit our campus. So we do hope you enjoyed the presentation and thank you for listening.